without saying it's a lot that Watch your step on the carpet. Mm -hmm. yeah, you Grab it with both hands. Yep. Place it on the front two rollers. In the Old Testament, it was Job that was speaking about the grave, and he said, there the weary be at rest. I find comfort in that. Um, I find comfort in what Job said, um, there the weary be at rest. He had a clear understanding of life, 
He had gone through all kinds of troubles and problems and challenges. He also had a good understanding of death. He had experienced that, of course, in his own family. He also said, life is of few days and full of trouble. And I think in the big picture, that's true for every one of us. Um, the familiar 23rd Psalm is a favorite of the family. And the family had suggested that we quote that psalm together. And so I'll invite you to join with me and, and we'll quote that together. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his namesake. Yea, though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou goest with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. One of the things that King David said when he wrote that was, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, he said to God. Um, Elizabeth has gone through that valley of the shadow of death, and she has succumbed to death. But you're all walking through that valley as you remember her and as you mourn the loss that you've experienced. And yet, as David wrote, uh, he was confident that God would be with him, that God would give him strength, that God would take care of him, and uh, I believe he will do that for you as well. I think there are many reasons why Psalm 23 is a favorite of many people. Early in the psalm, David wrote of his absolute trust and confidence, his dependence upon God, and, and he knew that that was one, one person, one God that he could depend upon with everything, um, David had had ups and downs. He had had many issues in his life. His only fam uh, own family turned against him. But he knew God was his strength. And uh, it's then, I think, understandable the reason he closed the psalm as he did when he said, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. David was committed to God no matter what happened in life no matter the problems or the challenges or the losses that, that he experienced. He knew that there was no greater strength, no greater God, no greater support, uh, no better place to be, but to be in the house of the Lord, in the will of the Lord, and living in the way of the Lord. So my hope is to encourage that each of us would be as determined as was David. He wasn't a perfect man, but he learned his lessons and um, he tasted of the grace of God. And so that would be my hope for this family and throughout our lives that we would be as David and that we would depend upon the Lord and be committed to, to serving uh, him. We're gonna sing the song or listen to the song, I'm not sure which, uh, Abide With Me. Gonna sing it, all right. Who's leading it? Well, we'll just do it together. <laughs> Let's sing. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you again for Elizabeth, for her life, for who she was, for the tremendous impact that she had, especially on her family, and through them on, on others. We now commit her unto the grave and into your hands, awaiting the resurrection. 
And may she rest in peace. And we pray these things in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. lived from 1909 to 1977. The poem is attributed to Mary Elizabeth Fry and it's entitled, Do Not Stand at My Grave and Weep. Do not stand at my grave and weep. I am not there. I do not sleep. I am a thousand winds that blow I'm the diamond glints on snow. I am the sunlight on ripened grain. I am the gentle autumn rain. When you awaken in the morning's hush, I am the swift uplifting rush of quiet birds in circled flight. I am the soft stars that shine at night. Do not stand at my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. <laughs> 